So here we have an integral. It's an indefinite integral. There's no limits in place. We know at the end of it we must remember to put a plus c, a constant of integration in it. It looks complicated. Let's compare it with a simpler one, which isn't a special integral. And the equivalent one would be 1 over x to the half to be integrated. And we would write that initially as x to the positive, x, sorry, x to the negative 1 half to be integrated. We bring up that x to the power half to the top and make the power negative. If we were integrating this, we'd use our good old power rule for integration, which says increase the power by 1 and divide by that new power. So in this case, we would have x to the negative a half to be integrated would give us x to the, well, negative a half plus 1 would be positive a half. Negative 1 half plus 2 halves would be 1 half. And we divide by that half and add c. Tidy it up, double top and bottom. We'll get 2x to the half over and double a half, it's just 1. So ultimately we would get 2 root x plus c for the answer to this. But this one is more complicated. But we, we start out as we did uh, with that simpler case. We take the power on the bottom of the fraction and move it up to the, the top and it would become the integral of 5 minus 4x to the negative a half. So that's step one, which we've done. And this rule still applies, except the rule gets more complicated because if we have a linear expression, which is what 5 minus 4x is, there's a number times x and another number, negative 4 times x plus a 5. There's a, an x term and a constant in there. If we're raising that uh, to a power and trying to integrate, then we do what we normally did up there. We increase the power by 1 and divide and add our c at the end. But because it's not an x in there, because it's more complicated, we have to make an adjustment. And the adjustment is the coefficient of x, the number that's multiplying by x. It appears on the bottom of that fraction. We have to divide by it in a, in a sense. We have to divide by that. So that's the rule that we're using this time. So we can go ahead and integrate. We take that expression, raise the power by 1 to give us a half, divide by the new power, remember to add c, and then look at the thing that isn't an x. It's a 5 minus 4x. Look for the coefficient of x. It's negative 4. It must appear on the bottom of that fraction. You have to divide by that. Otherwise, things would not be working. So that's our, the result of integration. Uh, we need to tidy this up, of course. It looks a bit of a mess just now. At the bottom line of the fraction, the denominator in particular, what's a half of negative 4? Well, that's negative 2. But that's still not good enough. We've got a positive term on the top and a negative in the bottom, the whole thing will be negative. Now we could just leave the 2 down there, or let's think, divide by 2, that's like a half. It would look OK to take a half of 5 minus 4x to the power of half. Dividing by 2 is finding a half. So that, I think, is probably the best form for your answer. We could go one step further and translate the power a half into the square root. Either of these two versions would be acceptable.